Yes, sir. It's your boy B Hayes. We're back with another one, guys. So let's go ahead and jump right into it. Before we do that, watch out for spam, WhatsApp, in the comments down below. So how to know if it's over, guys? How to know if AMC wave is over? How to know if you're wasting your time? How to know if you should move along and all that good stuff, guys? So let's go ahead and break it down in this video real quick. So as we know, guys, AMC, GME, it all started out as a movement. Nobody should have invested in these plays thinking, oh, they have the best finance in the world. Oh, they about to be the next big thing. Oh, millions of people about to uh, magically appear and start going to movies. Oh, so many people about to just rush in for GameStop because of the holidays and the stock price is just about to go crazy. No, not one person, I hope not, didn't invest in these individual securities because of the fundamental reasons. The reason I believe everybody got involved because they seen the... The hype, they seen the tension, they seen the price action for GME, and it was a movement. It came all the way down to a movement, basically the S on hedge funds for S and on us this whole time. Basically like a get back for a get back. And some people had a plan along the way, like, hey, I'm with the movement, but I'm going to take profits at such and such. Some people didn't have a plan at all and just say, I'm with it, I'm throwing in, whatever happens, happens. And some of those people now come back full circle and now try and find someone to be mad at because they didn't have a plan. They realized, dang, okay, I got inside this movement. I didn't have a plan. I just let it ride, let it do. I watched profits go up and down. And now who am I to blame? You're looking around like, who am I to blame? I know it was a movement. I know it wasn't the investment that was like Walmart or Amazon or, you know, a business to where I was investing in the holding for years and see if, you know, a substantial amount of return within those years. It wasn't an investment like that. I knew it was high risk, high reward type of play. I knew getting in, the play was already damaged, being for the fact that hedge funds was willing to short it down to zero. So off gate, whatever, whenever any one of us bought AMC and GME, she already had a mindset that these companies was worthless, being for the fact that hedge funds had already picked up on them to short them all the way down to zero dollars and zero cents and pay zero dollars in taxes. So now come back full circles. How do we know if it's dead? How do we know if it's over? How do we know all these good things? So the way you be able to pick up on that is by for one, we know shorts haven't covered yet. They still have to cover those shares that they borrowed we know borrowing fees have increased drastically which can cost them return to cover a bit quickly also we can give an indication on whenever short is covered by the indication of si short interest short interest percentage usually come down a bit whenever shorts start to cover that's another indication guys we also know that uh, the community is still stronger than ever behind AMC. AMC has one of the communities that's still actually behind it, still standing strong, still active, better than any other mean stock in this space. So we know the community's there. We know short interest there. The bar fee, uh, the uh, the bar fee rate has went up. The short interest percentage hasn't came down. We also know uh, the fundamentals of AMC is getting better by the day. We know AMC is holding a billion plus dollars in cash. They also implemented a strategy to do the, div the special dividend with APE preferred uh, unit, APE, in order to get more access to liquidity and capital as well. So we know they're doing implementing a lot of different strategies, guys. So in a nutshell, it's not over just yet. Like we know, guys, I don't believe it's over. It's still going to be another spike within this. Like I say, you definitely want to come up and have your plan along the way. Don't just, you know, be in it like a deer in the headlights with no type of uh, plan. Because even if, you know, you 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 riding with the movement, set the movement, the stock would have went up to 10000 for the ones that say, oh, I don't need no plan. I just need to be in it. How does that make sense? Because say if it did go to 10000 right? Obviously, you would you gonna have a plan. You are gonna be like, oh, obviously on the way to ten k, you gonna be like, you gonna start making that plan. But you would rather make a plan during the process than before the process. Because once it's trucking to ten k, then you plan it. Like, oh, once it get ten k, I'm selling. So obviously, if you gonna you know do that, why didn't you come up with a plan before? So a plan is a plan regardless of how high it go. Or even if for a better instance, if you were to watch it go to ten k. And you say you the one the ones that oh I'm not coming up with a plan I'm just here for the movement. Then when it go up to 10k, and then it drop all the way back down, then what? Like what's the like what what is your purpose at the end of the day for this? Is it not to get paid to make some money out of it? Right, I'm thinking that's your purpose. So why not have a plan on when to exit and not one of those crazy plans like you exiting at a hundred thousand dollars per share, fifty thousand dollars per share. 
you know, you know, the crazy, them crazy numbers. Like, go back to the videos I've been telling you guys. Hayes, don't think you will see that type of, you know, numbers. Being for the fact there's a lot of things going in play why you won't see those numbers. Manipulation, people taking hella bread off top as soon as it get anywhere near that. Like, so many different reasons, so many different factors. But anyways, you guys already know what to do. Add your boy on Instagram at the BH Show. Get in VIP. Watch out for spam down below. Get your free stock at We Bull and Robin Hood. I love y'all. We out and God bless you.